We got Kanye West twenty four. See what he got. He's done miracles on me. 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 Oh my god, I love this scene. Like, it reminds me of any time in a movie when the hero dies, or you think the hero dies, and then he gets brought into the heavens, and they, like, give him, like, one more chance, and he returns to Earth. He's like a modern-day Goku or something. Mm. <laughs> His songs are, like, just perfectly fitting for, like, choir music. And I'm sure that's... I'm assuming that he's made some of his music in, like, a choir setting. Never the right time to go. Got the right time to go. Never the right time to go. Don't love you. Let me choose your steps. Gotta make it right for you left. Gotta make it right before you. Everybody wanna feel like everything gonna be right. Do me over the old me. Let it out, let it all out. God, please let it all right. Make it right, let it feels right. Nothing else ever feels right. Nothing else ever feels right.
Oh my gosh. <laughs> that visual is like probably one of the sickest things I've seen in a while. Like it, for me, it touches on like dimensions and that like that's ultimately just one dimension amongst like the multi dimensions that he may be in. Um, Cause they always talk about like, I think when you become more enlightened, I think you become more dimensional. I think it's like, I don't, I don't remember how many dimensions um, is classified as more enlightened. Um, but I love that he used the visuals to, to show that. You know, there's constant um, scenarios of him being resurrected and then like, going to like different realms almost but you can tell he's like constantly like um being uplifted and so those words like god's not finished it, it for me makes me feel like he shouldn't lose hope like that it's gonna keep going like life goes on life is a circle yeah and thinking about i can't i can't help but think about some of his history history when i'm listening to his new music because i can't help but to think about like his relationship with um the kardashians and then as soon as they split up he's going through obviously like a different phase in his life and his music and i said this before like it reflects that change and you can tell you can tell he's a different person because he's also distancing himself from like his old associates it seems like because now he's spending more time like making music in a more of a spiritual setting, I would say. Versus like the traditional Kanye music you've seen. Like the first thing I think about is um, what's that shit when he was with, uh, was it Little, not Little Peep. The one where he was like a box. Yeah. <laughs> what's that song? <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, you're such a fucking ho. I, I love, love it. it. And you go from like that to this. Like you can tell. I mean, when... that was a joke though. But he made such a good song <laughs> out of it. It was so catchy. Yeah, yeah. It, it definitely was. But you can tell like he's at a different chapter in his life. And you can tell by the music he's making now. Because it's, it's a totally different version of Kanye that we haven't seen in a while. Like I haven't seen this version of Kanye since like. Jesus Walks. The beginning of Kanye. Yeah, his come up was very like spiritual and more philosophical, I would say. And then when he, he starts to get a little mainstream, it got very, like, you know how mainstream music gets? It gets very. Surface? And, and very, god damn, I can't think of a good word for it, but it gets very gloatful. I don't even know if that's a word. Like boastful, I guess I would say. What are you trying to say, though? <laughs> like, when it just becomes more of a brag. Like, you know, when artists make music and they just start to talk about, like, the stuff that they have. Oh, got it, got it. Is that the right word? Boastful? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wasn't sure. Start making up my own shit. Anyway, <laughs> um, where now he seems very humbled and artists get, like, you can tell when artists go through difficult times, they, they, be, they become more humble in the sense of, like, it's more than just about me. You know what I mean? Where some artists, like, they think everything's about them. Like, everything's about what they have and what they've accumulated. Where his music is more like, it's more about us and God and, like, not everything. Like, like nothing about, like, money or bitches or jewelry or anything like that or drugs. You know? Yeah, I love it because Bigger picture shit. Yeah, because it seems like he's no longer as cynical as he was, like, when he was singing Heartless, for instance, or Gold Digger. Right, right, exactly. And, and that's fine because everyone has to go through their phases. And I think Kanye went through that phase. And for him to get to where he's at now, he had to go through those phases. You know, have to be like in a fucking mental institution and all the theories that go along with why he was even in there to begin with. Yeah. 